Welcome to this video. This video, I am going to demonstrate you how to design DLSS circuits using Tanner tools. Uh, so that now we have to start with CMOS inverter design. Let's watch this video. Go to Tanner S Edit. So file new design. Give you a design name. I plan to have to give the design name CMOS inverter. Click OK and go to cell new view. Click OK and uh, maximize it. And I'm going to add library files. I'm going to use I'm going to choose the library files or uh, 250 nanometer. In this 250 nanometer actually this library files be there in this uh, tanner tool v16.0 process generic 250 nanometer and 250 nanometer analog library files select open click ok so all library files are included here and one more file we are going to include that is spice elements the spice elements will be available again go to add and browse generic to 50 nanometer io paths i include that io paths click ok So now I think uh, all the devices and uh, MISC elements are available here. Now we are going to draw the circuits. First we are going to choose the devices and generic 250 nanometer devices. I am going to choose PMOS, NMOS devices with the maximum voltage of 2 point volt. First I am going to select PMOS, click instant and drop here. Right click to cancel the device. Similarly I'm going to choose nmos click instant and place here right click remove the device and next i'm going to connect these devices using this wire just connect the endpoints of the devices now i connected the gates and connected these two terminals Is to select this arrow mark for go back and I'm going to connect uh, VDD and ground for this circuit I'm going to, I'm I'm going to directly choose this VDD yeah next I'm going to connect voltage source so it should be uh, not in the proper place I am going to change the place of voltage source. Just change the X and Y axis of this element. Now I am going to move in the uh, Y X axis. Yeah, I am going to move in the X axis right hand side. So I am going to change this one uh, like uh, yeah. So next I am going to connect this voltage source to this terminal and I am going to connect one more ground here. Just copy and paste the existing terminal. Yeah, now I have to choose in all the uh, components or elements for CMOS inverter design. Next, I'm going to change the properties of voltage source. I think this uh, I have to change this uh, voltage. This VDC is a zero volt. I'm going to change this one into 2.5 volt and this voltage also I am going to change already it is a 2.5 volt which is ok and pattern is 01010101 I have to save ok save your project and go to the simulation settings go to this simulation settings first go to general change this is if it is default it is false change it is true 
and uh, here I'm going to add the library files so how to add the library files so uh, default it should be the empty now I'm going to add the library files go to browse and under the generic 250 nanometer file we have this uh, generic 250 nanometer technology file under this technology file I'm going to choose this library select library file and open here the last line of this dot library now you would add capital T T and capital T T and, and uh, have to choose this transient Fourier analysis if it is transient Fourier analysis you have to set this time period stop time maximum time setup print start time based on your uh, based on what you expected the waveform you have to set the stop time and the start time uh, so now uh, simulation setup is over click OK and I'm going to explore where the input and output waveform has been uh, displayed in the graph for that I'm going to use spice commands print voltage spice commands print voltage choose one input print voltage in input side one print voltage in the output side so this is this is also I'm going to change now it is in the 12 bit bus voltage uh, just double click a uh, change into master interface change into voltage this is also double click change master interface into voltage so now again you have to save your project and you would run this option there is no error in that uh, first that spice file will be open here there is no error only one warning we will check it later and uh, if it is no error the waveform window will be op will open uh, that is w edit here I'm going to separate in you know input and outputs are combined I'm going to separate your input and outputs okay right? so now I'm going to set the input voltage is 0 1 0 1 0 1 I got the output 1 0 1 0 1 0 it is the exact uh, CMOS inverter output in next video section, I am going to demonstrate you how to get that uh, voltage transfer characteristic simply we call it as VTC characteristics to understand the operation of CMOS inverter. Thank you.